people procrastinate with their business and prolong it for a very long time because they're trying to find a vendor when sis honestly you can have an okay vendor with okay hair and still kill it because your marketing is on fire when you're looking for a hair vendor and when you're sampling out hair for your business remember when you open up the hair and it have all them flyaways that's one red flag if you look through the hair and you see like plastic looking pieces you see white pieces orange pieces all that that's two red flags if you run your fingers through the hair and you get to the end and the ends look like this that's three red flags because you like no and if you had three red flags with the hair then honey you done you don't need to be selling that hair period and the fourth red flag would be if the hair has a I describe it as people describe it as corn chips all type of stuff but to me when I smell hair and it have like a fishy smell to it I automatically I don't know what the fuck them people be doing to that hair but some of that hair be stink as fuck I, I don't know what they be doing to it but no and also remember when you're simply out here try everything burn the hair see if it turns into ashes if it turns into ashes the hair is human hair if it doesn't turn into ashes it has synthetic fibers in it it has all that extra stuff in it wash the hair most of the times the Chinese people they dye the hair if you're washing your hair and you're starting to get brown water and everything they have dyed the hair so why are they dying the hair you know what are you dying the hair for so that's another red flag if you're getting colored water and all these other crazy things like so the first website I want to recommend is Alibaba Alibaba is a Chinese vendor list right they have so so many vendors that are offering a lot of the same things that's why it's important for you to sample your hair the next is Aliexpress I don't recommend Aliexpress to you if you're starting your hairline because Aliexpress is a website where a lot of consumers go on their own to purchase cheap hair and a lot of these vendors don't offer hair that's last longing right this hair isn't last longing because their market is so saturated. They're receiving so many orders that the only thing that they're worried about is the cash. They don't care about the quality of their product. The last one I want to offer you guys is DHgate. DHgate is not so common. You might know about it, you might not. But DHgate is one of the websites that has a lot of raw version hair vendors. Also find wholesale vendors that are domestic, that are within the US. There are a lot of major hair companies that are starting to branch off into wholesaling options. These are the more expensive options, but you know that you're going to be getting good quality hair, so why not go for it, right? A lot of people procrastinate with their business and prolong it for a very long time because they're trying to find a vendor when sis honestly you can have an okay vendor with okay hair and still kill it because your marketing is on fire don't get so caught up on trying to find the perfect vendor they do not exist <laughs> okay they don't exist especially in 2020 can you find a quality hair vendor still absolutely keep in mind though with COVID and everything going on there's a lot of restrictions and products that are being extremely limited right now with vendors but once all of this is over which one day who the hell knows when but one day it will be right so keep your eye on the prize and don't get discouraged now the first way I want to show you guys how to find a vendor is on YouTube now it's no secret that lots of people do vendor reviews and all that great stuff right so take advantage of this y'all so let's just say we look up now this is just for searching purposes let's say we look up aliexpress hair vendor review now i'm gonna show y'all a secret i talked about this to my mentees that are in my mentorship program all the time okay all the time if you guys are interested in joining check out the description box but i talked to them about checking out comments right 
So let's just click on this. This has 211,000 views and it was four months ago. So it's pretty recent. Let's click on this video. Now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't really care about the video. No offense to her, no shades to uses at all. She's cute, she's a cute girl, right? But I don't really care about this video. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the comments, okay? So, a lot of times what happen is, two things happen. A YouTuber will get some hair, and the hair will be bomb. Maybe it's bomb, maybe it's not. Maybe they got some good hair, I don't know, hell. But what happens if, if, order, if people start to order this hair, right? If people start to order this hair, the quality goes down because there's so many people ordering from one vendor and they can't keep up a lot of the time, all right? So the comments look very positive. Finally, a good YouTuber with detailed reviews and recommendations. Da 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 da. This is the first video I've seen that is true and real, and whose comment section is I bought from them and it was horrible. They had gave her good hair in a horrible unit. All right, y'all. Hey, we may have just found a gold mine on the first try. On the first try. All right. Then this one says Wiggins hair is the best hair I had and West Kiss curly. Mind you, y'all, these are two hair vendors, okay? Someone also said, yes, I just received the Maxine Kinky Straight Hair is everything. I'm going to order, I'm going to go back and order more. Listen, y'all, huh, huh, honey, I may, look, y'all may want to watch this video because it sounds to me like this is a good vendor that you could potentially use for your own business because any vendor that is on AliExpress, Alibaba, they sell hair wholesale, y'all. Sis, this could be your vendor, okay? So this is what I want you guys to do regularly. I want this to become a part of your research. Now, keep a few things in mind. Look for the smaller YouTubers, like micro YouTubers, like people that are under 200,000 subscribers. How many does she has? Oh, it doesn't say, okay, well, we don't know. But keep that in mind. Also, Keep in mind the keep in mind how old the video is itself. All right. So just download WhatsApp and you can communicate with your vendors through there. Never make purchases through WhatsApp because you cannot get a refund. There's no insurance policy through WhatsApp. It's just a texting app. Always spend your money and spend um, pay your vendors through either PayPal or Alibaba. Those are the safest ways to spend your money. Just a little tip.